Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 EC2 instance on AWS. RHL 9 is the latest version of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I have connected to my AWS account. This is the console. This is the region. You can change the region if you want. Like this we can change. See, these are the recently visited services. If you are unable to see this EC2 instance on the console, click on services, then search for EC2. See, this is the service that is virtual servers in the cloud. Click on EC2. See, this is the EC2 dashboard. I don't have any components or services. See, instances running are zero. Elastic IPs, load balancers, snapshot, all are zero except this security book. It is the default one. If you want to create new instance, you have to click on this launch instance. Here, we have to provide the name for the EC2 instance. I am giving RHL line dev. Here, we have to give the number of instances. Here, we can give any number as you required. I am going with one. Application and OS images. That is AMI. AMI is nothing but Amazon Machine Image. Here we have to select our AMI. Click on see. Here we are able to see Red Hat. If you are unable to see, here we can search. Click on Red Hat. By default, it has selected Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. This is the create eligible. We have these different versions. We are unable to see it here. Click on browse more AMIs, then search for red space hat. See, these are the list of the red hat OSS available. Go back, select red hat, then select AMI type. I am going with pre tire eligible and red hat enterprise Linux HVM SSD volume type. Then architecture, we have two types. 64 bit x86 and 64 bit ARM. I am going with 64 bit x86. It is a verified provider. This is the AMI ID. Here, instance type. Here, we have different instance types. T2 micro is the free tire eligible. If you go for C2 to X large, it is not free. So, for this demo, I am using T2 Micro. See here, it is 1 GB memory, 1 CPU. If you want more CPUs and memory, you have to select other options. For demo purpose, I am using T2 Micro. Key pair. The key pair is required to connect to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Click on, click on create new key pair. Provide the name. Here, I am giving RHL 9. Dev. Private key file format is PEM. Click on PPK is used with PuTTY, but PEM is used with OpenSSH. Click on create key pair. It automatically downloaded. Once we click on create new key pair. Networking settings. I am going with default network. This is the VPC available. And this is the IP subnet preferences you can select any one of them. I am going with the first one that is EC2 that is US East 2 region. This is the CIDAR range. Auto assign public IP. We have to select this enable. Security group name you can create new security group or if you have an existing one use them. See we have one default one. Or if you want to create separate security group, we have to select this create security group. Then provide RHL 9 dev. Description, it is fine. Inbound security group rules. Next, advanced network configuration. I am not going to change anything. See, this is the storage. By default, its storage is 10 GB. Now click on advanced details. If you want to join this to an existing domain, you have to select. These are all optional. You can 
select based on the requirement next user data whatever the commands or the scripts or anything we have provided here that will be applied at the time of os boot see these are all okay now this is the summary see here security group it is going to create new security group this is the volume information and this is free tier if you are okay with all these settings click on launch instance click on this details see perform these actions go to instances see instance is still creating its, it's state is pending see here this is the public ip we have provided elastic ip monitoring disabled uh, this is the security group this is the key name that is pem file name and this is the launch time see instance is running click on the instance now we will see how to connect to this rhl in instance from the command prompt copy this public dns now click on this connect we have these four options one ec2 instance connect is session manager ssh client and ec and ec2 serial console first try to connect by using connect the default username assigned to ec2 instance is ec2 user click on connect see we are unable to connect because we cannot connect to rhl by using this method we can only connect to amazon linux next session manager this is this we need to configure now next is this one that is ssh client copy this one this is the example okay see everything is same copy this one open command prompt as administrator cmd click on run as administrator now go to where this pem file is downloaded downloads verify pem file is there or not see we have the pem file in this location now copy this one and paste it here see we have successfully connected to ec2 type post name see this is the host name let's verify see here 172.31.34.6 us is to compute internal okay also verify whether this is rhl9 or not by running command more etc os hyphen release see we have created rhl9 and its version is 9.2 you want to start or stop or reboot or hibernate instance or terminate instance you have to select instance in the instance sections then click on instance state we can click stop or reboot or terminate because we can't start because it is already running here these are the actions suppose if you want to stop you have to click on stop instance it is asking confirmation if you want to terminate the instance we have to click on this one which will terminate permanently from the ec2 instances so in this video we have seen how to create and connect to rhl and ec2 instance on amazon web services then we have seen how to stop start restart and terminate the ec2 instance on aws for more aws and cloud videos please subscribe my channel thank you